beautiful scorpions it's kim enchantress here from sydney australia and welcome to the channel i'm here to do a lenormand scope reading for the month of june 2024 so as i was shuffling your card scorpio i felt like you were being alienated um, from a social group this month it could be because you are feeling overwhelmed in crowds of people <coughs> excuse me and you may also have money issues this month because of a woman who's being difficult. I do feel for some of there's a need to network this month for your business. And you will include others in your business and share your money with others. Uh, this will be with a woman who's social, a bit of a party lover. Or it could be your accountant. She may be a female accountant. This was feeling or shuffling the cards. So I picked four cards that have fallen out, actually. Um, one's for love, one's for career, one's for home and family, and one's for health. So we'll go with the love one first here. And we've got the mountain, number 21, the Capricorn energy. So in Love Matters, the mountain represents challenges and obstacles when it comes to love and relationships. And uh, it does suggest there may be Definitely significant hurdles to overcome, whether for those who are single or coupled. And, you know, what's this mean for you, Scorpio? <coughs> Excuse me. In questions of love, it usually represents a new love interest. And that's why the challenges are coming up. Um, someone you may have great luck with um, flirting. But, however, this is also signalling speed and sense of adventure. So there can be a lack of commitment when you see this card as well. Now we'll go on to your career. And we've got the garden, number 20. <coughs> the, uh, the garden is the 10th house of achievement, fame and mastery. So in your career matter, it interprets meetings and networking. Um, you know, if you're in a social club or society this will often come up even groups that are online can be represented by the garden so it could be a place where you go to with like-minded people a place where you go it could be clubbing it could be um hotels it could be anything that's to do within the within the public domain so what to do in this situation cancer with studying the 10th house you know you can really end up being in charge of your own destiny with this in your career you know goals are the sector here and to make natives more aware of your own abilities and to help yourself succeed so this sign's placed on the cusp of the 10th house and it suggests what career you're going to choose and what your so, uh, social status is going to be, no matter if you're having a positive or negative influence. So let's take a look at home and family from the month of June. We have the fish, number 34. So this is Gemini's energy. <clears throat> so on another note, it's related to family ties. You know, this card reflects strong bonds between family Um <clears throat> where anyone or everyone supports each other emotionally as well as financially, ensuring overall family prosperity. <clears throat> now, what does it mean for you? Scorpio is, you know, Gemini people, their energy gives a lot of importance to family and children especially, mostly because they develop this very strong emotional connection with them. But, you know... They're not always stable and their loved ones can't rely on them, you know, because not to mention their home is always a complete chaos. And, um, you know, they're a bit hard to catch too. Now, if you're a Gemini, if you're a wife, if you're a Scorpio wife and you've got the Gemini energy, you may want to be married, but you don't want to be tied down or restricted either. If you're a Scorpio husband and with the Gemini energy, your fun, your full energy, you're buzzing from one place to the next, 
but you try to keep any negative feelings inside. If you're a Scorpio parent with Gemini energy in your reading, you know, these parents have lots of energy, so they like taking their kids out for fun activities. And if you're a Scorpio sibling with a Gemini energy, Gemini kids are always all over the place in their direction. But on the other hand, they're very funny too. So that's what's going on in your home and family. Now in your our health department, we have the woman. Now the woman is the planet Venus. So this relates to ailments that are unique to women. Now it can involve the female genitalia. So, you know, what can you do for your health the month of June? Because you've got Venus influencing it extends to health and daily routines and now it emphasizes the importance of balance and self-care this month. You know, people with displacement may have a natural inclination towards activities that promote well-being, such as yoga, meditation, Reiki, or any other form of exercise that you find enjoyable. Now, um, I feel the key lesson for you this month uh, is a lot here, Scorpio. So I've totaled all your Lenormand cards and they added up to 106, which is a very powerful message from the divine realm. And it speaks of potential. It speaks of courage, success, faith and hard work this month. And it is also a reminder that you have the power to manifest your dreams. You have the power to achieve your goals. And, and you know, the faith in yourself and the universe. So I feel your key lesson for the month of June with this number, 106, is to ask, um, to embrace your beliefs and maybe create opportunities for growth and progress. So likely your life has been uh, stagnated for too long and your angels want you to embark on new beginnings. Now, treasure your relationships this month. There's a secret meaning of the 106's family, family values. You know, your guardian angel is here to remind you that your personal growth depends on how you relate to your family and friends in your daily life you know this is an angelic sign and it's giving you a deep sense of social value especially with the fish there so i'm going to leave you with that sending lots of love healing your way bye for now